Hope everyone's doing well out there. So for today's episode, we are going to be doing the subscriber's choice. Um, the last few episodes I've asked you guys to submit, you know, a comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see me do. Uh, so one of my viewers, Gisela Henninger, suggested we do fruit pizza. Now this is going to be simple to make. So why not give it a shot and see how this one goes. So let's check out the ingredients we're going to use for today's recipe and let's get started. All right, like I said, super easy. First we're gonna do is a sugar cookie dough, pre-packaged. Um, if you wanna be more involved in this, you can make the sugar dough from scratch, but this is gonna be easy. So we're just using the pre-packaged sugar cookie dough, which is gonna be the bottom of the pizza. Then we're gonna have two tablespoons of butter, one package of cream cheese, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two cups of sugar, and that's going to make the topping. And then we're going to use any types of fruit that you guys want to use. I'm going to be using strawberries, grapes, and bananas. And you're going to slice those up and place them on top. And that's it. Simple, easy recipe. Just the way I love it. So let's move on to the next step. All right, so we're gonna be using Pam. Spray in your pan with Pam. Ching! Ching! And then we're gonna be taking our package of cookie dough. And we're going to be filling in our tray with the cookie dough. I'm gonna slice it into little pieces and fill it up that way. And then once we fill it up, we'll squish it down. Now we're gonna set the oven to 350 degrees, throw the cookie sheet in there, let it bake for like 10 to 12 minutes, take it out, and then from there, we're actually going to let it cool down. So you could either throw it in the refrigerator or you could just let it cool out on the countertop and let it cool that way, depending on how much time you want to spend. All right, so while we're waiting for that to happen, we're going to chop up our strawberries. Let's move this along. All right. So, I think that should be good enough for the strawberries. Now we'll move on to the grapes. The grapes you can just cut right in half. Just make sure you wash all these before you use them. The grapes are done now. Now to the banana. Finished. So now that this is done, while we still wait, we can start making the topping of the fruit pizza. All right, so I threw the butter in already. We're gonna actually melt it real quick. Um, if you have it at room temperature, you're good, but mine wasn't at room temperature. Now we're gonna take the cream cheese. We're gonna throw that in there. Skaboosh. Skudoosh. Okay, so we're gonna take two cups of sugar. And we're going to take one teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, now we're going to mix it.
The mixture is done. Now we just have to wait for the cookie dough to be finished. Now that we let this cool down, we're going to take the topping and we're going to top the pizza. Now that we finished spreading the topping on, we're going to put on the pizza toppings. Alright, so you can basically do this like some type of artwork. And we just want to spread it around in any type of design that you want to do. Now that this is done, you can put it in the fridge, let it sit there until you're ready for it. But I'm going to take it to the taste test. Welcome to the taste test. Let's see how this one stacks up to the previous videos that I've done in the past. All right, we made it to the taste test. Now it's time to see how this one is going to rate. Out of 1 to 10, 10 being I definitely, definitely, definitely would give it a shot once again. 1 being, uh, uh, not going to happen. I am not going to do this ever again. So let's see how this one rates. I think I already have an idea of where I think it's going to rate. But we got to taste it. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Let's get some of that strawberry in there as well. Bon appetit! Game over. We have a winner. I don't have to think about it. That tastes excellent. It tastes excellent. That's an easy, easy 10 rating for me. I mean, I said it from the get-go, from the start, that it wasn't going to be a difficult recipe. Um, I was just using the prepackaged cookie dough. It's basically just mixing a little bit of cream cheese and sugar and cutting the strawberries and grapes. Simple. And that tasted delicious. So, once again, easy 10 rating for a dessert that was a great dessert. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of these videos I've done in the past. And I'll see you next week on another episode of Give It A Shot!